I am so excited about this. He made, they, they made a video game for the original NES console. How cool. Actually, hardware playable on a cartridge. You got to blow in it to get it yeah. to work, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah this is so, and I was the Nintendo kid. Mm -hmm. I was so the Nintendo kid <laughs> that uh, the first time I got a phone call from a girl that I had a crush on, it was to ask advice on how to beat Legend of Zelda. Like, that's how, <laughs> that's how the Nintendo kid. We found out that there is a, uh, a tremendous culture, a very surprising culture of people that are making games for antiquated systems. And I'd compare it to, like, new bands putting out vinyl. Okay. Why yeah. would you do that? It seems totally impractical. It's expensive. It, mm -hmm. you know, but people are doing it, and people love it, you know. And so we kind of wanted to expose the culture and show people that it was a thing, while showing what goes into making one of these and how it differs from today. And a film called The New Eight Bit Heroes will be on the big screen at six thirty, and the creator Joe Granado is a Whitesboro native. Granado and a friend of his growing up in Whitesboro, they were big into Nintendo, and actually designed a game of their own when they were just eight years old, and presented their idea to Nintendo, but never got anywhere. Granado has since become a filmmaker, and on a trip home a couple of years ago, he discovered his forgotten illustrations that he and his friend designed, and they decided to write the code to create that very game on not only an archaic 8-bit Nintendo entertainment system that many people still have, but to have it play on other current platforms as well. And the film is about the whole story. Ends up turning into this film about what are the values of those ambitions that we have as kids, that we shed, that we lose as we grow up. And, you know, what happens? What are the unintended consequences if you re-inject them into your adult life? Like, how does it shape you? How does it change you? And I, and because of that, it becomes a lot more than just about making a video game. The film airs Sunday at 6.30, again at the Marquee in New Hartford, and Granado will be on hand before and after the film, so you can meet him when you attend the event. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah, I love it. That's awesome. Still had Flags for Heroes, the character Yay. 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 Good cover. Here we are at the Marquee Cinema in New Hartford um, for the proverbial hometown show of the New Ape Heroes. It's, it's kind of weird being here because this all didn't exist when I was a kid. This was all woods. And why that's weird is because these were the woods that we would have our crazy adventures in. Where I'm standing right now is where we'd be questing to do all kinds of things. And those adventures... <laughs> or what gave us the idea to for the video game that we wanted to make at eight years old. And then that video game was the impetus for the film and making that game. And now we're going to be showing that movie 30 years later pretty much in the same locate, geographical location as the place where we first got the idea. So, like, I guess this is where the... This is where the film goes completely full circle and brings me right back to childhood. And it should be really interesting. Um, I don't know who's coming tonight. Uh, it will be really interesting to see who's still around probably some people I haven't seen in 20 years. I'm super excited to, to get to see some family and friends tonight. So yeah, we'll see how this one goes.